All right, hello, hello. Welcome to Heal and Ascend from Rome. So I hope everyone is doing well. Um, before I begin today's reading, which is a pick a card for how this person currently feels about you, so we're just going to take a look at this person's energy. Um, I do have a promo going on. There's only three spots left. As I said, what I'm doing now is I only do um, a certain amount of spots, and then once they fill up, I end the promo. Um, so there's three spots left. Just letting you guys know the promo code is November. The information will be on the video a couple times on the video and then also in the description box. In addition, I do have online courses and guided meditations if you guys are interested. So that will also be somewhere down below. Okay. Um, but we have three piles today. So pile number one, pile two and pile number three. So just take a moment to see which pile resonates with you and we will get into it. So I'm just going to move these over. Sorry if it's kind of bright. I think you can see. Sometimes there's like a bit of a glare. Um, okay, so let's move these. Let's take a look. So if you guys chose crystal number one, let's find out. The person on your mind, what is their current energy towards you at this moment? Okay, so we have the solar plexus chakra, which is the third chakra. We have the three of pentacles, reach out. We have nine of swords, darkest fears. We have the Hermit, so this person could be a Virgo or you could be a Virgo. Okay, I'm just going to move this up a little bit. We have the Seven of Cups, and we have I've Been Learning a Lot About Spirituality. Okay. All right, so this seems like a pretty clear message that I'm getting here. Um, this is someone who has been taking a lot of time to, to themselves. So... You could be with this person or not be with this person, but the, what the main thing is that I'm seeing is like, for most of you guys, you probably won't be, and I'll explain why in a second, but I'm seeing that this person has taken a step back. They've really gone within or they've really um, needed to kind of go into their own shell for a bit, and I feel like this person has been learning a lot. So they've been learning about spirituality. Maybe they've been learning about themselves. Maybe they've even, even been learning about you. Okay, this person I feel like was at a point where they were very confused about this connection or maybe confused about um, themselves. Okay, with the Seven of Cups here. I do feel like this person is clearing up some confusion. The main thing that they're working on right now is building up this courage, building up this confidence to reach out to you. So for those of you who are already kind of like with this person, um, there, there's something specifically that they want, they've been wanting to bring to your attention or tell you. Now, if you're not with this person, they've been wanting to reach out. They've been wanting to talk to you. Um, but they've been trying to muster up that courage. Okay. Cause with the nine of swords coming through here, they have a lot of deep fears about this, right? Like they get in their head, especially with the seven of cups. I feel like this person thinks about every scenario. It's like it, for example, they may think, oh, I want to reach out to pile number one, but then what if this happens? Oh, but wait, what if what if that happens? Oh, but then that could happen, right? So it's like they keep thinking about all of the worst case scenarios um, or all of the what ifs, essentially. So they stay very stuck in their head about you and they have a lot of fear, probably more fear than you realize because with the darkest fears coming out here, for some reason, reaching out to you or engaging with you would bring up a lot of their darkest fears. So this could maybe be like fears of rejection, fears of abandonment. Um, but obviously this goes pretty deep with it being the darkest fear. So there's a lot of anxiety here. Um, some of you guys might be picking up on this person's anxiety as well. I feel like they're just needing time to balance out their solar plexus. And interestingly enough, when, we, when our solar plexus is out of balance, we have a lot of anxiety. Right? Especially when it comes to relationships, because what affects our solar plexus is um, disruption in relationships. So like, say for instance, a, a relationship falls apart, that's going to affect our solar plexus and how we feel about ourselves. Um, so I feel like this person has maybe gone through a lot, so they're kind of in this process of repairing their solar plexus chakra. Maybe that's why too, with the hermit's energy, they've been taking some time to themselves here. I feel like this person also wants to spend some time alone with you because that there are things specifically that they want to say. I'm getting a shy energy from this person. So if you guys know this person normally isn't shy, around you they're very shy. Okay, like I'm like if you look at the the, the body language of this person here, can you guys see? I don't know if it's uh, focusing or not. Hopefully you can kind of tell. Camera, what's going on? There we go. Um, you guys see the body language? This woman looks very, very, very shy. And I feel like this is your person. Right now they have this very shy, timid energy because of their fears. So they're working on feeling like they have the confidence 
to approach you, okay? Um, some of them I feel like have been kind of daydreaming about this as well. I definitely feel like you've been in this person's head quite a bit. So they're just, they're just building up their confidence so that they can make their move towards you. All right, so that is pile number one. I hope that resonated for you guys. If you want to book something personal, my information is down below. Okay, but let's move on to pile number two. So if you guys chose this crystal here, let's take a look. What is this person's current energy towards you at this moment in time? We have the card of deceit. We have take the lead, which is the three of wands. The eight of pentacles, dedicated effort. We have the ten of swords. Strength could be Leo. And we have I see myself having kids with you. Okay. Give me just a moment with this energy here. I gotta say, guys, this pile, pile number two, seems like that, um, it's like this person is not who they say they are, or the whatever they present to you, I feel like is not fully truthful. There's a lot of hidden energy, there's a lot of deceptive energy with this person some of you i'm getting and this may not be for everyone this is probably going to be a small message but with this card of i see myself having kids with you i actually see this as some of you guys may already have kids with this person or someone may like in this connection either they already have kids with someone else or you already have kids with someone else that's how i'm taking this card i don't see it as anything else um so if you know that there's no kids it may not be your message or it may be your message just maybe not the kids okay but that's how i'm reading this this message because what I'm getting here for pile number two um, I feel like this person already has broke your heart or is going to break your heart this just seems like a heartbreaker this just seems like an inevitable pain okay like this person is not who they say they are. I feel like they want to give you the impression that they want to have like this life with you or that they're going to be like your caretaker or protect you kind of vibe, you know, like the person who's going to say all of the right things, but isn't going to follow through. This is the person that, um, when things get tough, will end up betraying you or maybe already has betrayed you. This is someone who's going to leave a lot of painful imprints here on your heart is what I'm getting with the Ten of Swords. I feel like this is someone who's probably been through a lot of pain in their life. This is someone who feels very, like they've got a very tough shell, okay? Like this is someone who's probably been through a lot in their life and you probably know that. Like they've been through a lot of stuff. Um, and instead of healing, they've just built up an extremely protective wall. They're very, ego based as well. I feel like this person has got a strong ego front. Um, very prideful. This is the kind of person that I, I get the sense and some of you guys may not like this message so you can click off if you want but if it's resonating with you then stay tuned. I'm just seeing here that this is the kind of person that's going to give you the impression that they want to work on things or that they want to put effort in or they're going to like paint you a nice picture of what things could be like have you guys heard of the term um future faking i don't know if you guys have heard of that but there's an idea of future faking where someone will kind of exactly what it is someone will fake a future to keep you kind of hooked in a cycle and that's what i'm seeing here i feel like this person would gladly paint you a picture and they may they, they may even say to you like oh i want to have a family or i want to have kids but they know deep down that this is not what they're going to do because they have these hidden intentions with the deceit card okay um this person may, if you guys haven't spoke to this person, they may reach out to you with the take the lead. So this person may be thinking about reaching out to you. Um, if they haven't, it's mainly just because of pride. Okay? Because um, right now they could be keeping their distance. Some of them may be waiting for you to come towards them because I do feel like this person is very much um, wanting to be in control of the situation. Um, it's okay i'm really being drawn to this ten of swords which is interesting because i've always read tarot and i've never noticed the water in the back of this ten of swords i don't even know if you guys can see it's very vague um but swords typically don't really have water in them so this is interesting i'm noticing the water in the background here but it's kind of like dried up it's almost like the water has dried up so i feel like this person is very emotionally unavailable is very emotionally um 
like I don't know what exactly happened to this person but I feel like they do not have much to give emotionally let's just put it that way it's almost like they're emotionally dried up <laughs> okay um, and you know uh, what's the saying it's like people can only give what they have so even if this person were to give you their all it would be very little because they don't have much to give is what I'm seeing here and I'm getting that there's just a, a very prideful front. I feel like this person has a lot of healing that they need to do. Um, I very much think that you guys are connected to this. Like, I feel like you guys are very emotionally invested in this person is what I'm getting a sense of. Like, you guys are already, you're already in it, if that makes sense. Like, you're already emotionally invested. And I don't know if you understand the deception that's going on here. Maybe some of you guys do. So maybe you guys know that this person's deceptive, but you already feel like you've emotionally invested in them. So I'm getting that sense here. So just be weary with this person because there is a lot of future faking. There is a lot of like, oh, I'm going to tell you this, but that's not really the true intention. Okay. Um, you may be called to kind of keep your distance from this person. Some of them may just keep their distance from you as well, to be quite honest, um, with the strength card. But if they do approach you, just be, be cautious here with this person, okay? So that is pal number two. So I hope that resonated with you guys. Um, yeah, maybe not the message you guys wanted to hear, but hopefully the message that you needed to hear. But let's move on to pal number three. Okay, so if you guys chose this crystal here, let's take a look. Your person's current energy towards you at this moment. I'm just going to take a sip of coffee. Okay, so what's your person's energy? We have the card of all tied up. We have Shine, which is the sun. We have the Five of Pentacles, Feeling Alone. Ace of Wands, Three of Cups. I let my doubts and my fears get the best of me. <clears throat> okay. How does this person feel about you? Okay, so this is, this is kind of cute. Um... Okay, so if you guys chose pal three, how they're feeling about you at this moment. I feel like this person literally just wants to open up their heart to you, okay? They feel really happy in your presence. They feel really happy when they get a chance to talk to you. Um, you bring a lot of light to this person. You might have even opened up this person's um, perspective, okay? Now, for some of you guys, I'm not getting for all, but for some of you guys, there is someone else involved here with the three of cups. Okay, um, if that's the case, I'm getting that this person feels like they have to be in this connection or feels very stuck in this connection. So maybe it's like a marriage that has, you know, kind of run its course, but they're still staying in it. Um, because I'm getting with this feeling alone card, even if they're with someone, they feel alone. So there's that. Now for others of you, if you know there's not a third party, I feel like this person just wants to reunite with you. They want to get together. They want to have fun. They want to go out. They want to have a good time, okay? Because they feel like they have a good time when they're with you. Um, they're very passionate about you. This person is very attracted to you with the Ace of Wands. This person wants to offer you um, some sort of a new start, okay? Now here it says, I let my doubts and my fears get the best of me. So this feels obviously like past energy. So this person um, in the past, especially with the all tied up, they got too much in their head about this connection. They started thinking the worst. They started predicting, um, you know, what could maybe go wrong with the connection or their fears just kind of um, trump things, right? And so maybe, <clears throat> I don't want to assume what happened, so I'm not going to, but I'm just getting here that some of you guys, this, per this, this connection might have fallen apart because of their fears. So how that played out is probably going to be different for all of you guys, right? Like how their fears manifested, but their fears got in the way. This person really does want to open up to you. Like, I feel like this person just wants to fall into this connection. Like literally the, um, the, the idea of like someone falling in love and like literally, like I'm literally getting an image of someone just falling into love and gladly doing it. So that's how this person feels. Like they just want to jump into this because I feel like this person has felt alone for a long time in their life. And you've, they've always been looking for kind of, and it sounds so corny as I say this, <laughs> but they're, they've always been kind of looking for their light. The reason why I say this is because this person here has this little light that they're holding. So it's like really dark, but there's this little glimmer of light. And I feel like they've been looking for you essentially. <laughs> it does sound so corny, but they've been looking for you. And so this person feels like they've found you, but they still, there's still some obstacles to get to you. Okay. So they feel like there's still a little bit of a trek here. 
some of you guys could be at a bit of a distance some of them they may not know exactly what's going on with you and in your world at this point so they may be questioning like well maybe pile three is with someone else now or maybe pile three doesn't want me anymore so they've got their own set of fears as well um but i feel like this person definitely wants to move towards you they might be dealing with some financial concerns here um, I feel like for some of you guys, you could actually be at a physical distance. If it's not physical, it's emotional here. Some of you guys, I'm getting a specific message. You may live in kind of like the mountains. Um, it, that's just not for everyone, but I'm getting something here about like the mountains could be specific or I don't know if someone really likes the mountains or um, something to do with like the nighttime and nature as well. Maybe like the cabin life type of thing, but that's a small message for some of you guys. Um, but yeah, I feel like this person, if they are in a third party, they do have to get out of that first, of course, here. But for those of you who, where you know it's not a third party, this person just really wants to have fun. Like, they just want to go out. They just want to enjoy life. They want to, um, you know, just have a good time. Typically, I do read the Three of Cups as, like, third parties, but not always, right? Like, it's just an intuitive thing that you pick up on, and you can feel the energy, and sometimes it's not. So this, I'm not feeling that as much. It could be, but I'm feeling more that this person just wants to have fun, especially with the shine card here, okay? The only obstacle I'm just getting is that they still have to overcome their fears. And there might still be a little bit of emotional, um, like they might still need to deal with a bit of an emotional, uh, I can't find the, can't find the word. There's some emotional difficulties that they still need to kind of balance out. Okay, they need to balance out their emotions first and feel more calm before they get to you is, is what I'm sensing here, okay? But that's what I'm getting for palette number three. So I do hope that this reading was helpful. As always, if you guys wanna book your own personal reading, my information is down below. All right, but I'm sending you absolute love and light and I wish you all of the best on your journeys. Take care.